Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, pag-aaralan natin ang conditional probability. Pero bago tayo magsimula, pakilike naman itong video. At kung hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe, ay masubscribe ka na. At kapag ginawa mo yun, matutupad ang iyong mga pangarap. Like a cut. Sa conditional probability, meron tayong tinatawag na Bayes' theorem. At itong Bayes' theorem na to, nagbibigay sa atin ng formula. That is probability of A given B. And that is equal to probability of A and B over probability of B. So yung vertical line nito, ibig sabihin nito is given. So itong baso dito is probability of A given B. For example, in rolling a die. So in rolling a die, meron tayong 6 possible outcomes. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Kasi nga 6-sided yan. Okay, so for example, probability of A. So the probability of A. ay makakuha ka ng even numbers. So, is, ano yung mga even numbers dito? We have 2, 4, and 6. So, we have 2, 4, and 6. And probability of B, probability of, uh, for example, ang probability of B is, we have uh, 1, 2 and 6. Okay, so what is probability of A given B? So that is equal to, tignan natin kung ilan nga ba yung even numbers meron dito. We have 2 and 6. So we have 2 out of ilan lahat yan? We have 3. So that is 2 out of 3. Pero kung gagamitin natin yung formula, that is probability of A and B over probability of B. So, this is probability of A. Pwede natin kulay. So, probability of A given that B. So, that is equal to probability of A and B. So, ilan yung even numbers dito sa probability of B? We have 2 and 6. So, they are, that is 2 out of 6. Kasi nga, 6 lahat nung sides ng die. And probability of B, so we have 3. So, merong tatlo. 1, 2, and 6. So, that is 3 over 6. Uh, so, multiply natin 6, both numerator and denominator. Maka-cancel lang to. So, that is equal to 2 third. And Pareho silang nakuha. Next example. There are 500 students in a certain school. 170 students are enrolled in physics and 100 students enrolled in biology class. There are 50 students who are taking both physics and biology. If a student is chosen at random, so A, what is the probability that the student is taking physics? So, una, gawa tayo ng Venn Diagram. Okay, so, sabihin na lang natin ito yung mga kumukuha ng physics. Sabihin natin PH. And ito, biology. So, sabi, 170 students enrolled in physics. So, meron tayong dito 170. And 100 enrolled in biology. At yung nag-enroll both physics and biology is 50. And all in all, they are 500. Okay, so first, what is the probability that the student is taking physics? So letter A. So probability of the student is enrolled in physics. And that is equal to ilan, sila, ilan lahat ng nag-enroll. We have 170. Over ilan lahat ng estudyante, we have 500. So, it is 170 over 500. Lowest term natin. So, cancel lang natin yung dalawang zero. So, that is equal to 17 over 50. So, the probability that the student is taking physics is 17 over 50. Or the percentage that is 34%. So, 34% ng students are nag-enrolled ng physics. Next, letter B. 
So letter B, what is the probability that the student is taking physics given that the student is also taking biology? So kumuha na siya ng physics at the same time kumuha, na siya, kumuha pa ng biology. So that is probability of the student is taking physics given that it is kumuha pa siya ng biology. So that's probability of P given B. Or this is pH. P6, pH4, P6. Uh, that is equal to ilan yung enrolled sa physics at enrolled din sa biology. Yun yung bisabihin yan. So, given the formula, using the formula, we have probability of uh, physics and biology over probability na kumuha ng biology. And Okay, so what is the probability na kumuha ng physics at the same time kumuha ng biology? So, mayroon tayong 50 dito na kumuha ng both physics and biology. So, that is 50 over, ilan lahat sila? That is 500. And sa probability of B, probability of biology, we have 100 students over 500. So, the time, multiply lang natin both numerator and denominator by 500 para makancel tong 500 na to. So, all in all, that is 50 over 100. Lowest term natin. So, divide natin both numerator and denominator by 50. And that is equal to 50 divided by 50, that is 1. 100 divided by 50, that is 2. So we have 1 half or 50%. So yung kumuha ng biology, 50% ng kumuha ng biology is kumuha din ng physics. Or meron tayong shortcut dito. So the probability of kumuha ng physics is at the same time as kumuha ng biology is 50. So kuha natin yung intersection nila. Intersection nila is 50. At kuhanin natin yung kung ilan yung kumuha ng biology. That is 100. So 50 over 100. So the same dito. And that's equal to 1 half. Next yung letter C. So what is the probability that the student is taking biology given that the student is also taking physics? So kanina, probability of pH given that biology. Ngayon naman, probability of and that is, yung kanina equal sa 1 half. Ito naman, probability of students who takes biology given that they take physics. So, magkaiba tong dalawang to. Kasi yung formula natin we have probability of A or B, probability of B and pH over probability of pH. And that is equal to, ilan yung kumuha ng both? Biology at physics, yung intersection nila, that is 50. That is 50 over 500 over uh, kumuha ng P6 170 so 170 over 500 and that is equal to tanggalin lang natin yung 500 so that is 50 over 170 lowest term natin tanggalin natin tanggalin natin tong 0 that is equal to 5 over 17 At kapag naka-percent, that is approximately 30%. Okay? Or kung gagamitin natin yung shortcut, so probability of B and PH, yung intersection nila, that is 50. So 50 over kung ilan yung kumuha ng physics, that is 170. So 50 over 170, ganun din. And that is equal to 5 over 17. And it's 30%.
So, ibig sabihin nito, 30% ng students kumuha ng biology at the same as kumuha ng physics. Let's have another example. Consider the following table given the students playing mobile games. So, meron tayong male and female dito at naglalaro at hindi naglalaro. So, 70 na male ay naglalaro. 100 na female ay naglalaro din. And 10 na male ay hindi naglalaro. 20 na female ay hindi rin naglalaro. So, all in all, we have 80 males, 120 females, at lahat yun ay 200 females. At 200 students. Okay, so first, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student is a male? So, letter A. So, this is probability na ang makukuha is male. So, what is the probability of male? Okay, so, ilan lahat ng male? We have 80 males. So, this 80 over ilan lahat sila, we have 200 students. So, this 80 over 200. So, lowest term natin ito. So, divide natin both side by, uh, both numerator and denominator by 40. So, 40. So, 80 divided by 40, that is 2. So, 100 divided by 40 is 5. So, the probability na makukuha, na mag-choose natin is male is 2 over 5. Next is B. A male who plays mobile games. So, male, so, prob probability na yung male ay naglalaro ng mobile games. So, probability of male and playing mobile games. And that is equal to that is equal to ilan yung male na naglalaro? We have 70. So, dito male na naglalaro. So, this is 70. Over kung ilan lahat sila, we have 200. So, lowest term natin to 70 over 200. Tanggalin lang natin yung 0 sa dalawa. So, we have 7 over 20. So, the probability of male that plays, who plays mobile games is 7 over 20. Next, letter C. A male given that he's playing mobile games. So, hindi ito yung given, no word. So, male. So, that is probability of male given that it is playing mobile games. So, magkaiba tong dalawa, yung B at C. Yung formula natin, probability of male and naglalaro, playing. So, over probability of playing. Okay? So, probability of M and P, yung nakuha natin kanina, this is 7 over 20. Or sige, kunin natin yung 70 over 200. That is 70 over 200 over ilan lahat na naglalaro, we have 170. So, tanggalin lang natin yung 200. So, that is 70 over 170. At kapag nilowest term natin yan, that is equal to 7 over 17. Tanggalin lang natin yung 0. So, the probability of male given that playing mobile games is 7 over 17. Next, yung letter D. Female given that she plays mobile game. So, we have 100 over 200. At ilan na ang naglalaro? We have 170. And that is equal to, tanggalin lang natin yung 200. So, 100 over 170. So, 100 over 170, lowest term natin yan. Tanggalin natin yung 0. So, that is 10 over 17. Next, yung letter E. Okay, so letter E, a male given that he is not playing. Not, so, meron given. So, this is probability of male na hindi naglalaro. 
do not play and this is equal to ilan yung hindi naglalaro na mail we have 10 so this is 10 over 200 kasi nga 200 silang lahat and ilan yung hindi naglalaro 30 so 30 over 200 or just simply 10 over 30 at kapag nilowest term natin yan that is equal to 1 over 3 so i hope nasundan nyo so this is conditional probability